Have you been needing to limit submissions on a form? Let me show you how. Hey everyone, welcome to Jot Format. My name is Kimberly, and there are a few reasons why you might want to set limits on your form. Maybe you are selling something and you have a set quantity. You don't want to oversell that. Or maybe you're selling spots for a webinar. You definitely don't want to oversell. So I'm gonna show you how to set up limits by both the number of submissions and by date. So the first thing you wanna do is navigate to the form that you're going to wanna set limits on. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one. We're gonna choose edit form. Next, I'm going to choose the settings option in the top middle, and it's gonna automatically populate on the form settings tab, which is the tab that we are wanting. Now you can see we have the title of the form that we can change, and then we have the form status. And as you can see, it is currently set to enabled, which means that anyone can fill it out as many times as they want. So what we want to do is change it from enabled to disable on a date. Maybe you wanna cut it off on a specific date and time. We have a submission limit, or we can do it on a date and submission limit. So let me show you each. So the first one is disable on a date. So let's say I want this form to expire in a week and at a specific time. Now do keep in mind that the time in JotForm is set to Eastern Standard Time. It's not going to be the time that it's on your computer. So definitely keep that in mind. And it's also 24 hours. So let's say I want this to disable at five o'clock. That would be 1700. And then at the bottom, we can also set a warning message. This is fine for me. You know, this form is currently unavailable. Now, that is how to disable on a date. Now let's disable on a certain amount of submission. So disable on submission limit. So here, it's gonna automatically populate to 1,000. If you only have maybe 12 spaces to fill or 12 products to sell, you can set it to that submission. And then again, we have the warning message. But let's say we want it to be on a date and a submission limit. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to that last one. Okay, let's change it to a week out and let's say it is at five o'clock or 1700 again. And then we have the 12 submission limit. And then again, we have our warning message. And each time we click out, it automatically saves right up here at the top. And that is it. If you have any questions about disabling your form on a submission limit or by date, please let us know and I'll see you next time.